this entire slurping away. She hasn't even stopped to take a breath. <laughs> I know. You want to try a little salmon? Oh, sure. Uh, Here you go, Zab. Hmm. Ah, whoa, milk's okay. <laughs> she needs a little more. She's sucking on my fingers again. There we go. All right. All the pets have full bellies, at least for a little while. <laughs> the feeding time's over. Well, what time is it now? Well, Zob, it's time to walk the pets. Every pet needs to get out and exercise their muscles. And if they live indoors, a walk is a good chance for them to get out and pee and poo outside instead of in the house. Sometimes you can walk a dog without a leash, and sometimes you walk a dog with a leash. Oh, come here. Here. You do? Okay, Zob. Oh, thanks. Let's go, doggy. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, slow down, slow. Whoa! 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 Walk the hermit crab from now on. <laughs> Good idea, Zavu. Pets like guinea pigs, hamsters, and hermit crabs don't need to be taken on walks outside, but you do have to make sure their cages have plenty of room so they can exercise. And it doesn't hurt to take them outside for a run sometimes. Just watch them really closely to make sure they're safe and watch your step. Whoa, this taking care of pets is harder than I thought, but fun. Cats get their own exercise, and they also do their business in a litter box. Okay, so she's doing her business, business, and everybody else has had some exercise. So, hmm, what's next? Clean up time. <laughs> One thing that's really important when you have a pet is to keep their homes nice and clean. Especially for animals who live in their cages, like goldfish, hamsters, guinea pigs, hermit crabs. These animals go in their cages, so you have to clean them often. Taking care of pets is a big responsibility, but it can be fun, too. Okay, let's clean the kitty litter box. <laughs> yeah, this sure needs cleaning. Whoa. Well, that the pets have been fed and uh, walked in, uh, cleaned. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that means it's playtime! <laughs> it's playtime! It's playtime! I'm feeling pettish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel pettish. How about you, pettish? Pet, pet, pettish. I'm feeling kind of pettish. I'm a really great buddy and I love to play with you. Pets need playtime just like we do. Pet, pet, pettish. I'm feeling kind of pettish. I'm a really great buddy and I love to play with you. One of the best things you can do for your pet is to spend a lot of time with her and be her best friend. I like that. <laughs> pettish. Uh, taking care of pets makes me tired. Oh. Um. <sighs> I was dreaming along. Dream, 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 dream. dream. <gasps> Suddenly. Uh... Hey, Zabu! Oh, oh, are you sleeping? <laughs> well, I guess I'm not now. Oh, good, because Sansa needs help taking care of his little sisters. Oh, okay. But where are they? So I looked around and I saw their tracks. Their yeah, tracks. And I followed them. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sense It. I'm here to help you take care of your little sisters. Oh, well, that's great, Zabu, because here they come now. <laughs> I took care of pets one time. Oh, yeah, Zabu? <laughs> yeah, and it's a lot like taking care of brothers and sisters. 
Just like pets, they have to be fed, given lots of love and attention. And best of all, they have to be played with. <laughs> play with me! Play with me! Okay, I'll play with you. So Sensit and I played with his little sisters all day long, and we had so much fun. <laughs> the end. in one day. It's Moonface. The Barn Owl, with another special delivery. Hope it's going okay with all our pets. We're about to return raccoons back to the wild, where raccoons belong. Okay, animal helpers, it's time for them to live free and in the wild. Open it up. But remember, we gotta give them their space. They're wild animals. Bye, raccoons. Have fun in the wild. Oh, yeah, guys, I'll be right there to hug and take all the pets back. Bye, raccoons. It's so great that Jackie knows which animals should be wild and which animals should be pets. And it's great she knows which pets belong to which animal helpers, because I think the pets are itching to go home. Oh, yeah. Hey. Jackie! Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Hi. Hey, Goldie. Did you miss me? Well, I missed you. <laughs> well, it sounds like it's time. Time for the pets to go home. All right, everybody, on to the dog sled. Ooba ooba, sounds like a trip. <laughs> to the closet? To the closet! I'll get the stuff out of the closet. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the Jackie, closet hold it. to grab their stuff and split. How'd she do that? I don't know. All right, pups, wake up. It's time to go. They're going on a cool adventure, and they don't know what's in store. They're Let's go! They're coming from the closet, and they're headed out the door. Bye, Zob. Bye. See you, Zabu. Bye, guys. And now, back to the Sprout Sharing Show with Patty, Ricky, and Courtesy Owl. Sharing show, and I'm so excited because it's time for a sprout like friend to shine. Let's play along with Kaylee from Holiday, Florida. You don't know how to play basketball oranges? I'll show you how. How you have to do it is get the fruit from the spoon and then put it in front of the bowl. Okay, back there? Looks like everybody's good. I don't remember this field. Are we lost? Uh oh. What is it, Blackie? Blackie, of course! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Blackie has an incredible sense of smell, and dogs have an incredible sense of where home is. So Blackie probably knows where to go. Let's follow Blackie. Okay, Blackie, lead the way. Cats this way. Follow that dog. Wait, run, Blackie. Hold on, everybody. Hey, Blackie, not too fast. I've got a big load here. <laughs> I think. Blackie really does know the way home. Run away, sled! Oh no! I gotta get that sled! The pets! Ah! Oh. Whoa!
Is everybody okay? Yep, everyone's good. <laughs> yeah, it looks like everybody's just fine. Hey, and Blackie did it! He found his home. Jackie, Chris, look! Everybody's here! Hey! Whoa! <laughs> guys. All right, hey, we have all your pets for you. Whose guinea pig is this? Mine. All right, here you go. We did it! All the pets are back with their kids. Yeah! That was great. Hey, I wonder what Zabu's up to. Okay, go ahead, poop. You poop right here. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you, you go poop in here. Okay, let's go through it one more time. A you, lynx kitten. Yeah, this kitten won't do it. No matter how many times I ask him, he won't use the litter box. Remember what you guys said? A kitten uses a litter box. House cats use a litter box because they're pets, but a lynx kitten is a wild creature. So, he's not a pet? No. Okay, uh, remember what I said about the litter box? Forget it. You can poop wherever you like. <laughs> <laughs> No, not on my hand. Oh, no. Oh, I can't He's watch. He's gonna poop right there, so I'll just hold it. I'm not watching. Oh, you said poop wherever you want. Did he poop, Tom? Well, oh, false alarm. Oh, he peed. <laughs> yeah, he just peed. Oh, very nice. A <laughs> Link's kitten pee puddle. What a splash. He's so cute. I wish he could be my pet. Yeah, but he's a wild animal, Zob. Oh, uh, yeah. When you see a baby lynx kitten like this, he's so cool, you think, oh, I have to have him for a pet. But the truth is, wild kittens belong in the wild. Wild animals need their space. They're not happy unless they have their space. Oh, yeah. Like me. I like to be in the wild so I can leap, 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 leap. I'd never want to be a pet. I love my space. Living free and in the wild. Hey, who, hubba hubba. I love my space. <laughs> Not everybody wants to live in the wild. You want to hear about one time in Zabu land? Well, I was leap leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, leap, leap. When I felt this rumbling. So, huh, oh, I leapt into a tree to get a better look. It was Zabumafuasaurus. <laughs> so I asked her, huh? Zabumafuasaurus, yes, would you like to be somebody's pet? Oh, no, Sabu. I'm way too big to be in somebody's house. And anyway, I like living free and in the wild. Yeah, I do. Hmm. Well, whatever makes you happy. Well, then I left over to see Snow Lemur. Oof. Oh, oh. Hello, Zabu. Hello, Snow Lemur. Yeah. Would you like to be a pet? Oh, oh no, Zabu. Yeah, no, no. I, I live on Mount Zabumafu. And, uh, oh, it's really cold up there, and uh, that's the way I, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Besides, I like living free and in the wild. Yeah, I do. Great. Mm -hmm. Whatever makes you happy. See, Zabu. <laughs> and then, then I saw a green puppy. Hi, Zabu. Hi, Zabu. Oh, hi, green puppy. I have a question for you. Eh? Would you like to be somebody's pet? Oh, yes, Zabu. Yes, yes, yes. I, I love being a pet because I love being huh? pet. <laughs> so I petted green puppy yes, for, the, <laughs> for the rest of the day. And she was really, was really happy. And so was I. <laughs> the end. <laughs> I like that story, Zabu. Thanks. And Zabu lands a great place where everyone lives free and in the wild. Zabu, look, an adult lynx. Manga Zika. Hey, she must be the lynx's mom. Well, she came for a kitten. The best one to look after a wild baby animal is his parents. And no matter how hard we tried, we could never take care of the lynx kitten as well as his mom can. Now that they're together again, they can go back home to the wild. Bye, lynx mom. Bye, lynx kitten. I'm glad you don't know how to use kitty litter. A pet can be your best friend and make you really happy. But you have to remember that your pet depends on you to take care of her. No, my buddy. My she couldn't live without you. But wild animals don't need anybody taking care of them. They're happiest living free and in the wild. Yeah, just remember, whether we're wild or pets, we're all great. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special. In their own way, we both have different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine, they jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have.
have to say, go make an animal friend today! Yeah! Hey guys, I got a lot more leaping to do today, so I'll see you later. There he goes. And can that lemur leap? Hey Chris, why don't we go on down to Mud Puppy Pond and hang out with the pond creatures? Let's do it. We'll see you later. I'll race you. You're on. Hi, I'm Maybe. This is my dog Leo. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> Hi, we're the Krat Brothers, and when we're outside Animal Junction, we never get too close to an animal we don't know. Remember, always give an animal her space. And if you're a kid, you should never get close to an animal unless an adult says it's okay. Hey, there's somebody we all know. Zephyrfu. Junction. Can you smell the flowers? <gasps> that must mean Dirt Girl is almost here. Dirt Girl loves to play at flowers, but first get ready to sing and dance with Ricky, Curtis, and me on the Sprout Sharing Show. Oh, are those for me? Patty, Ricky, and Curtis the Owl will be back with more to share here on Sprout. New from LeapFrog, you can show your child the joy of letters and numbers with the amazing Alphabet Amusement Park, where learning letters can solve a sticky situation. And Numbers Ahoy, where knowing numbers can free all the fish on DVD January 18th. I'm happy my cares have flown away a new day with nothing in the way and darling let's dance together till morning and you you're so graceful and me a clown disgraceful we are a perfect match you can see Huggies little movers diapers are shaped to let babies really move good luck out there Are you facing an unexpected car repair bill, a medical emergency, or just need cash until payday? Well, you may not have that money today, but you can in about 24 hours. Go to MoneyMutual.com today and get up to $1,000 in your checking account by tomorrow. Just be 18 or older and have a regular income of at least $800 a month. So forget about overdraft charges, bounce checks, and late fees. For short-term cash when you need it fast, look for me and you'll know it's Money Mutual. Visit today. I love to draw, you know, it's really inspiring to me. I was always able to draw pretty well, but uh, I was missing, you know, a good structural foundation. And that's what Art Instruction Schools found for me. Art Instruction Schools has been successfully training artists since 1914. You'll learn at your own pace, in the comfort and privacy of your home. So if you'd like to become a better artist, take the first step. Call this number for your art test. There's no obligation. You must be 18 years or older to call. Lily, how will I ever plan my wedding in time? Don't worry. Hotelplanner.com can save you time and money on your wedding. We're your hotel event specialist. <laughs> I don't want to share a room with 14 other guys. There's got to be a way for our team to travel without us sleeping on the floor. Never fear. Hotelplanner.com coordinates events of any size. We're your hotel event specialist. We need to go to this year's conference with the new budget cuts. Any ideas? Hotelplanner.com can get you free meeting rooms for your next conference or corporate event. We're your hotel event specialist. <laughs> Great rates for special dates. Hotelplanner.com Hi Spratlets, we're the Wiggles. Want to see all the friends we can visit and fun we can share every weekday morning on Sprout's Wiggly Waffle? Beauty mate, let's check it out. Guess what we're making for our birthday party? We'll need all this yummy food. 
This is fun. Do you know who it is? It's Grover's Funny Fruit Face. Hello, everybody! For this and more birthday party craft ideas, go to SproutOnline.com. Hi, Sproutlets. It's me, Bob the Builder. Don't miss me and all your favorite friends every day on Sprout. Can you fix it? Yes, we can! I love to watch Bonnie. Whoa! He grows bigger and bigger and bigger, and then he gets a lot bigger, and then he comes a guy. Whoa! Oh, hello! Kids say Bonnie! Bonnie! <laughs> Come and join the fun along with me, Barney, here on Sprout. Wow! How weekly wonderful was that? We can't wait for another visit with our friends and with all of you on Sprout's Wiggly Waffle. Weekday mornings from 6 to 9 o'clock right here on Sprout and always at SproutOnline.com. Beauty, mate. Breaking news. A new show is on Sprout. What could it be? Can you guess? I have an idea. Ooh, Kiana has an idea. But she's run out of the room. It's the most anticipated show of the year. What's your news? All about the news around you. There's so much exciting news out there. Meet Grant, Anthony, and all the top reporting ants. And get the scoop with What's Your News? Every morning on the Sunny Side Up Show. Only on Sprout. A happy ending to our top story. And now back to the Sprout Sharing Show with Patty, Ricky, and Courtesy Owl. My friends flew the coop They're nowhere around Can't share my feelings Not a smile, not a frown I feel so confused I have the can't share blue But Sproutlets, you're here You're sharing your time Well, I'll be your friend And, and bam, you can be mine with good friends like you, well, you cure my can't share blues. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. I love sharing with you. You're beautiful. See you next time. And now it's time to welcome Dirt Girl to the sharing show. Let's see what adventure we're going on today. There's adventure waiting out there just for you. Dirt Girl World, our adventure waiting just for you. Dirt Girl World, go get grubby. Dirt Girl World, get grubby. In Dirt Girl World, in Dirt Girl World, in Dirt Girl World.
It came from a very big bird. You're right, Ken. But what kind of bird? I'm going to find out. Well, I'm happy to stay right here, away from the wind and the very big birds and... <laughs> Grubby? Such a blustery day. But that's a good day in Dirt Girl World. The wind can help us with so many things, like moving seeds around or drying herbs, so we can use them later. They smell so good. The wind can even dry your clothes without using any energy at all. Who's the feather? I love windy days like this because I get to try out all my wind-powered inventions, like my windmill. If the wind blows hard enough, it makes the windmill turn and makes enough electricity to light up this light bulb and even power my toaster. Scrap-a-doodle! This gives me a great idea for the green thumbs. I challenge you to make something that moves in the wind. Hmm. Carefully cutting a shape out of coloured paper and folding bits into the middle like blades of a fan. A pin through the middle holds it together and the wind spins it around. Nice work, Green Thumbs. Toast! Yum! Huh? Scrapboy, did you just see a feather flutter by? It went that away. Thanks. Dirt Girl, wait! You'll never catch a feather in the wind unless you're as fast as the wind. What do you mean, Scrapboy? My latest invention, a wind scooter. I'll never find Grubby in this wind. Ooh. Grubby! I'll never find Grubby in... Ooh. Who said that? Ooh. Me! Ken, that's who. I said I'll never find... <gasps> Grubby! Ooh. Grubby! I said I'd never find Grubby, but here she is. <laughs> Who are you talking to, Ken? I don't know who. <gasps> oh, that's who. I think we found the owner of your feather, Dirt Girl. Oh, it's an owl. They don't usually fly around during the day. He must have been blown off course by the high winds. Owls? are the only birds I see flying around at night. The owls I spy like to sit quietly watching the garden or fly silently looking for little things to eat. They like to sleep all day when everyone else is awake. I don't think owls are very good at making nests. They like to lay their eggs in the old nests that other birds have finished with. Now that's recycling. Owls also have excellent eyesight and hearing. I think they look funny with their big eyes and big heads. But what would I know? Sleep by day and fly by night. An owl sees more without the light. Here you go, Mr. Owl. I found your feather.
Can you two do me a favor? Stay here with Mr. Owl and make him feel welcome and comfortable. I have to go and check on Heyman. Make him feel comfortable? <laughs> hey, man, the wind has blown out all of your hay. Don't worry, I'll get you fixed right up. So, what do you think, Grubby? Do owls like to eat grubs and weevils? Okay, let's back away from the owl. There you go, hey, man. All fixed up. I better get back to Grubby and Ken and our new friend. Ken, Grubby, what are you guys doing? Mm, trying not to look edible. Don't worry. This kind of owl doesn't eat insects. Mm. And in fact, I think he wants to be friends with you. Oh, look! He's giving you guys a present. And he's given me a great idea for a stunt! Stunt! will now demonstrate a brand new sport, feather surfing. Uh, I'm not so sure about this, Grubby. Come on, Ken, it's time to hang Ken. Or however many toes you have. But if the wind is too strong, I might... <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whee! <laughs> The weevil surfing the winds, dude. Surf up, Ken! This is the best stunt ever! Awesome! awesome. <laughs> what a wonderful windy day that was. We learned about owls and we made a new friend. Especially Hey Man. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi. Dear Girl is amazing. And next we'll visit Bob the Builder. But first we have more to share with some amazing Sproutlets here on the Sharing Show. Oh, Stage Mice, we need that over there, please. Patty, Ricky, and Curtis the Owl will be back with more to share here on Sprout. Look who's suddenly into oral care. Introducing Pro Health for Me from Crest and Oral B, a line of oral care products specially designed for older kids. It protects the areas their dentists check in flavors and designs they'll like. They'll be brushing. Seriously. Ever feel you might be missing something? Like, oh, say, hundreds of dollars in tax savings? Thank goodness there's TurboTax Federal Free Edition. The easy online way to do your simple federal taxes and get the maximum refund guaranteed. Just answer easy to understand questions. TurboTax guides you step by step, puts the numbers on all the right forms, does the math, and helps get you the maximum refund you deserve. Plus, with TurboTax Free Edition, you can get your refund fast in as few as eight days when you e-file. With TurboTax Free Edition, you also get free online help and free audit support tools. Doing your taxes has never been easier. And best of all, with TurboTax Free Edition, you don't pay a penny because it's free to prepare, free to print, and free to e-file your federal tax return. So why not give it a try? Go to FreeTurboTax.com. That's FreeTurboTax.com. The easy way to get your biggest refund possible. Do it now. Sproutlets, it's me, Nina. Let's see all the friends we can visit and all the sweet dreams we can share every night here on The Good Night Show. Hi, Sproutlets. Are you ready for another good night? Oh, oh, I am, Nina. I sure am. Me too. 
Tonight's adventure is all about... Parents! All right! And tonight's craft is... The Family Tree. I can't wait! So visit SproutOnline.com to find out what craft supplies you'll need. And we'll see you soon for a very good night. Hooray! Every good night, see what stories are sprouting on Nina's Little Fables. Nina and Star, please tell us the fable. A tale about animal friends that are able. Enjoy as Nina and Star retell classic tales for you and your family to share. Hooray! And see that no matter what, we can all do something special to help out a friend. Little friends can do big favors. Hi, Sproutlets. It's me, Caillou. Let's go. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. 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 I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me. Oh, I can't wait for another nighttime adventure with all our friends and all of you on The Good Night Show. Every night, starting at 6 o'clock, right here on Sprout, and always at SproutOnline.com. And now, back to the Sprout Sharing Show with Patty, Ricky, and Courtesy Owl. Reach up into the air and down to touch your toes. Do you know how to exercise? Well, Cyrus from Indiana knows. <laughs> for being on the sharing show. And if you have something you want to share with us, grab a grown-up sprout and go to sproutonline.com. And now, Sproutlets, help me welcome our next act, our builderific friend, Bob the Builder. But playing together like good friends should. Time to get busy, such a lot to do. Building and fixing till it's good as new. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Can we build it? Can we fix it? Yeah! Bob the Builder! Can we fix it? Bob the Builder! Yes, we can! Yeah! Isn't today's job exciting, Benny? Building a marshland walkway. Oh, it's fantastic, Bob's Dad. I can't wait to... <gasps> Did you hear that, Bob's Dad? This way. Pilcher, we've been looking for you everywhere. Well done, Benny. You're very good at finding animals. You have the makings of a great animal explorer. Whoa, what a real banana peel. A great animal explorer. Hi, Dad. Benny. Hi, Bob's, Hi, Bob's Dad. Dad. Hey, everyone. I found Pilchard. Hooray! Oh, thanks, Benny. I've been ever so worried. Bob's dad, what are those long things? They're old telephone poles. I thought we could reuse them. You know, reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. They're perfect for today's job. I'm getting the hang of that reduce, reuse, recycle, whatchamacallit. Okay, team, let's load up and head over to the marshland to build this walkway. Here are the plans for today's job. The walkway will go over here to the first big pond. And then up and over it. Oh, wow. Up and over? Sounds tricky. Yes, Muck. <laughs> we can cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, we're building this walkway to stop our wheels getting wet? Well, I 
kind of lofty. Marshlands are full of animals and plants that do clever things. Look, these reeds filter and clean the water. Like the reed beds in Farmer Pickle's orchard. Exactly. Animals come here for a good, clean drink. It's a great place to animal watch. Look, this marshland. It's a jungle. Unreal, Banana Peel. A jungle? Now I can be a great animal explorer. <laughs> Let's get started. Lofty, Muck, Benny, can you carefully clear a path out to the pond? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Watch out, jungle animals. Benny, the great animal explorer, is coming. Benny, what kind of animals live in a jungle? Ooh, really big ones, like tigers. Bushes. A tiger. <laughs> Hello, duckies. Oh, fluffy duckies. Oh, ducks. I want to find real jungle animals. Oh, I'm stuck. Help! It's horrible. Oh, wow. Look, it's a jungle snake. It's just some muddy roots. Huh? Oh, oh, good. <laughs> oh, where are all the big jungle animals? Hello, team. Finished already? Yes, Bob's Dad. Great. We're ready, too. Let's lay this walkway. <laughs> Walk this way. Nice work, team. Lofty, it's time to build the bridge. Yes, remember, up and over. Oh, um, I won't fall in the pond, will I? Don't worry, Lofty. We'll guide you carefully. There you go. Now, drive slowly. That's it, Lofty. Left, left. Look! A crocodile in the pond! Whoa! Crocodiles in Sunflower Valley. What an imagination you have, Benny. Yeah. Okay, let's cut another pole to size. Okay, team, can you go get some wood for a safety rail? We don't want anyone to fall in. On our way, Bob! I'm no good at being a great animal explorer. I can't find any big jungle animals. Um, maybe they're asleep. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm -hmm. I can hear them. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Now, we're ready to lift the new pole. Hey, where's Benny? He must have gone looking for that funny sounding animal. Oh no, we better find him before he gets lost or stuck. Benny, the great animal explorer, searches for the animal. This way, team. Where is everybody? Lofty? Mark? Uh, uh, hello. Benny! Benny! Oh, um, what are these marks on the ground? Benny's tracks. Let's follow them. Right behind you, Bob says. Lofty! It's no good. I'm lost. Hello? Ducky! Um, I'm glad to see you. But what are you doing out here? You're lost? Just like me. Don't worry. I'll look after you. <gasps> Who's there? Are you scared, little ducky? That's OK, cos I'm scared too. Let's hide. The tracks! They've 
disappeared. Where is Benny gone? Well, maybe he found a jungle animal. What jungle animal? <laughs> that one! Ah! Ah! Wow! A green spotty-eyed butterfly. Benny, we found you! I'm sorry I ran off. I really wanted to see a jungle animal. What's all this about jungle animals? You said this marshland was a jungle, and I wanted to be a great animal explorer and find jungle animals. Oh, 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 my goodness. I didn't mean the marshland was a real jungle, Benny. I meant it was like a jungle, because it's filled with amazing wildlife. Look. Oh, lots of little bugs. Oh. Wow. Oh, look at this stone is home to these bugs. Animals don't have to be big to be amazing. Some are small and perfect, like Ducky here. Oh, I've been a big silly belly. I've let everyone down. No, you haven't, Benny. You helped little Ducky here, didn't he? Hey, you're back. Benny found this duckling lost in the marshland. Oh, poor little thing. I can look after Ducky while you finish building the walkway. That's a terrific idea. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Good job, everybody. The walkway looks fantastic. <laughs> I think little Ducky wants to go home now. Oh, miss you, little Ducky. You can visit him whenever you want. Yes, and you won't get lost if you stick to the walkway. Um, Benny, you're his hero. And a really great animal explorer. <laughs> sharing with us. Oh, and coming up, Sprout, let's play a starring role. It's Pick Me! Oh, I can't wait. But first, get ready to share the stage with the Sprout House Band! Oh, hi, Stage Mice. Can I share some of that with you? Sure. Patty, Rick, and Curtis the Owl will be back with more to share here on Sprout. New from LeapFrog, you can show your child the joy of letters and numbers with the amazing Alphabet Amusement Park, where learning letters can solve a sticky situation. And Numbers Ahoy, where knowing numbers can free all the fish on DVD January 18th. John Mapes is 42. Mortgage, married, two great kids. He wants to protect his family with a $500,000 term life insurance policy. What do you think it'll cost him? $100 a month? 60? 40? Actually, none of the above. John can get a $500,000 policy from a highly rated insurer for under $25 a month. His secret? Select Quote. Select Quote is impartial. They'll search the pick of insurers like these to give you a choice of your best prices. Select Quote has great savings on term life for women, too. John's wife, Carrie, can get a $500,000 policy for under $16 a month. Select Quote has helped make term life insurance affordable for hundreds of thousands of people since 1985. How about you? Just call this number or visit SelectQuote.com. Call 1 800 715 0720. Tanisha and Chica here. Chica's excited because we'll be back in the Sunshine Barn on Monday for Pets Week. So let's check out all the fun that we have every day on the Sunny Side Up show. <laughs> Chica, so excited. It's a party at Sprout and you're invited. Happy, happy birthday to you. Before your Sproutlet's birthday, visit Sprout online. Send in a homemade card, make sure it arrives on time. We'll post it in our gallery for all to see. And it might even be on TV. Happy third birthday. The Sprouterific fun can happen in your barn, too. Sprout's Birthday Center shows exactly what to do. So join your friends for the big occasion. Send in January cards today. Don't keep Chica waiting. 
we're going to make an everlasting sand castle. Let's get started. We're brushing on a coat of glue. All right, guys, let's cover this in sand. Use your hands. Up, oh, a little more glue. Oh, you see a, a bare spot? Okay, get it. Now we're ready to construct the castle. We did it! I know, Chica, it'll be the cat's meow. So Sprout, let's join us for a perfect week all about pets on the Sunny Side Up show. Starting Monday from 9 o'clock live on Sprout and always at SproutOnline.com. Hi, Sproutlets. It's me, Caillou. Let's go! I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring them. Play along and explore with Caillou, his family, and Gilbert, too. Every day for a full hour starting at noon, right here on Sprout. That's me! And now, back to the Sprout Sharing Show with Patty, Ricky, and Courtesy Owl. Welcome to the Sharing Show! Hey, it's time for a Sprout Make Sure! This one's from Bella, who lives in New Jersey. Once, Once a Sprout a Town! One day, Bella went to visit Nina and Star. Hello, Nina and Star. I'm Bella. And Hush was there, too. Glub, glub. They did some stretches and danced around. Wow, look at that dancing. <laughs> then it was time for Bella to go home. Bye, Nina. Bye, Star. Glub, glub. Hey. Hey. For sharing your artwork, Bella. And Sproutlets, if you have artwork you'd like to share on the sharing show, send it in to SproutOnline.com. And now it's a special Sproutlet like you starring in their own story. Oh, I can't wait to see who's here to share with us on Pick Me today. was sowing seeds. You have a gorgeous garden, Gertie. Such beautiful flowers. Thank you, Umi. And thank you for helping me to sow these seeds. They'll grow into beautiful flowers too. I hope. Gertie, are you there? Who's that? It's Neville at the front door. Hello, Gertie. Hello, Neville. Hello, little boy. We're going for a picnic by the lake, Gertie. Do you want to come? Oh, that would be wonderful, Neville. Can I come? Got any bananas in that picnic hamper, Neville? A few, Banjo. Ah, go away! Shoo! Shoo! What's that? Sounds as though Umi has a problem. Shoo! 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 Umi? It's the birds, Gertie. They're eating all your new seeds. Shoo! Shoo! Banjo, Umi and the little boy raced around the garden, shooing the birds away. Birds often do that. I don't. And I'm a bird. Shoo! Shoo! There! They've gone, Gertie. We've frightened them away. Let's hope they don't come back while we're having our picnic. That was a delicious picnic, Neville. Thank you for inviting me. Not enough bananas, though. <laughs> Where can we put our rubbish? I can't see a rubbish bin. Why don't we dump it in the lake? 
What? what? Sorry, I was only joking. <laughs> we mustn't leave it lying around. I'll collect it up and take it home. Will you help me, please, little boy? You can throw it all in your rubbish bin at home, Gertie. I might not throw it all away, Juno. Some of it might come in useful. I might make something. I wonder what Gertie could make out of used plastic bottles and used plastic spoons and forks. And paper cups and paper plates. And banana skins. Gertie and the little boy washed all the plastic spoons and forks. And they rinsed all the plastic bottles and paper cups. And they wiped clean all the paper plates, which weren't too messy. Neville! I've just flown over Gertie's garden. You'll never guess what she's made from all the rubbish. I can't think. Let's go. Oh, this is clever, Gertie. When the wind blows, the plastic spoons and forks will rattle and frighten away the birds. Oh, and look at that! A scarecrow. Magnificent. That'll keep the birds away. They'll be really scared when they see that. And nothing will be wasted. I've reused all our picnic things. Well, everything except my banana skins. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Banjo, except the banana skins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so much fun to see our Sprouted friends on picnic. Singing telegram for Ricky. Um, that way. Ch Coming up soon, it's the Mighty Jungle. Right here on Sprout! Patty, Ricky, and Curtis the Owl will be back for some more to share here on Sprout. Bill's mornings have never been gooder. Thanks to something amazing we've added to game. It's called Fresh Lock and it helps keep Bill's stuff smelling more like it came straight from the dryer. The cows aren't gonna milk themselves. New game with Fresh Lock. Sniff Sniff Hooray! Everywhere I turn, people are talking about gold prices. Gold has risen to new records. Gold prices have tripled in value since 2001. Gold is up almost 40% in the past two years. That's right, 40%. Not many investments competed with that type of performance during the same period. Isn't it time you add gold to your portfolio? I'm a gold line client and have been investing in gold for over 10 years. If you're thinking about investing in gold, I recommend you call Gold Line now and speak with an account executive. They'll walk you through the steps to get started and answer any questions you may have. It's easy to own gold. Learn how you can acquire physical gold that is delivered directly to you. Call Gold Line, a company with more than half a billion dollars in annual sales, helping investors like you and me acquire gold for nearly 50 years. Call today and get your free investor's kit and learn why you should own gold. Take a walk down Sesame Street. Come on, everybody! Where you'll meet furry friends. Super Glover! Hello there! Cookie Monster! <laughs> Learn some new moves. <laughs> and share laughs all around. <laughs> that sounds like fun! So don't miss a beat. Make your way to Sesame Street. Every day at 1 o'clock, here on Sprout. And now, back to the Sprout Sharing Show with Patty, Ricky, and Courtesy Owl. This is the Sharing Show. Your talents are mighty fine. I just can't wait to see you shine. Yeah, this is Ella from West Columbia, South Carolina.
here. Thanks for being on the sharing show. And if you have something you want to share with us, grab a grown-up sprout and go to... Now it's time for a jungle rhythmic adventure. Let's swing over to the mighty jungle. Mighty Jungle Adventure is... Spot the Giraffe! Once upon a time, Babu and Bruce and Manda had a beautiful day and they were playing... Meow! And the crowd roars as Babu the Meerkat sets a new world record for backwards running through the jungle! Flying my kite. Whee! Oh, it's a perfect day for playing with my blocks. Yeah. Whee! Oh no. Maybe it would be safer to play something together. How about hide and seek? <gasps> hide and seek? Yay! Oh, I love hide and seek. <laughs> hide and seek? Oh, all my life I've wanted to win at hide and seek. Can I play too? Well, sure, Spot. Uh, how come you never win? I. Don't know, but I love the game. <laughs> Do you know why? Because you hide and then someone comes out and count and then you and then the other person comes out to find you. See? Exactly! Counting, hiding, ready or not, oh, the game has everything. And even better, I get to be it. Hey, who says you're it? I could be it. Or I could be it. And Babu was it. Or I could be it. Oh, but don't worry, Rhonda. We'll all take turns. Well, all right. So close your eyes and start counting. Count to what? Well, I don't know. Your favorite number. Oh, mine's 163. Uh, he will count to 14 and then he'll start looking for his friends. Fourteen? Uh, I can do that. Okay, here I go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ready or not, here I come. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> One, two, three, on spot! See? I told you I never win. I just don't get it. How did you find me and not the others? Cause it's wrong neck. My neck? You found me because of my neck? All this time I haven't won at hide and seek because of my long neck? Yeah. Oh. That's no fun. One, two, three, and Rhonda. Oh, that'll teach me to hide behind Spot. <sighs> oh, one, two, three, on Bruce. Huh? Oh, <laughs> that'll teach me to hide behind Rhonda. <laughs> then they play more of hide and go seek. 161, 162, 163. Ready or not, here I come. <sighs> 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 the 
Here's a great game you can play. Shh. Let's play hide and seek. You can play it every day. Let's play hide and seek. First you run, then you hide. Either outdoors or inside. Try your best not to be spied. Let's play hide and seek. Cause ready or not, you must be caught. One, two, three, on spot. Oh, it was the neck again, wasn't this it? This time you can join us too. Let's, Let's play hide and seek. Oh, come on, you know what to do. Let's play hide and seek. First you count and then you seek In every hole, on every peak Be very quiet as you sneak Let's play hide and seek Cause ready or not you must be caught One, two, three, oh. on spot! Gotcha. <laughs> I'll never win with this long neck You go play without me and Rhonda was it, and she was counting. One. Come on, let's go. Two. Three. I'm it, I'm it, I'm finally it! Four. Five. Six. And Babu and Bruce were trying to find hiding spots, and Bruce hid in a tree with lots and lots and lots of leaves. Rhonda will never find us up here. <laughs> Phew. Hey, Bruce, I'm proud of you. I've never seen you up this high before without a safety helmet. <laughs> hey, yeah. Without a safety helmet? <gasps> I left the ground without a safety helmet. <laughs> and one of them gets stuck in um, the branch. What? Stuck in a branch? <laughs> Who could that be? <laughs> uh... That would be me, I think, Babu. Oh, my foot's stuck. <laughs> oh, now, don't worry, buddy. I'm right here with you. <laughs> and then Babu gets stuck in um, the branch. Me? Get stuck in a tree? Ho, ho, ho! Not a chance. <laughs> I'll come over and help you, Bruce. Let me get this for the... Just get my... <laughs> They climb up the tree to try and help, but then they all get stuck. So far we have Babu, Bruce, oh. a crocodile, and an elephant <gasps> up in the tree. Don't worry, I will save them all. Uh, Mr. Bristle, oh, I don't think so. I seem to be stuck. And one warthog. Well, I guess it's up to me now. Oops. I'm stuck. And they didn't know um, who else could rescue them. Hmm. Nope. Can't think of anybody. Uh, you? Bruce? No, nobody jumps to mind. I... I'm drawing a blank. Me too. Mm, the ass, the giraffe to help them. Spot? How can she help us? <laughs> oh, there she is! Spot, help me! I'm stuck! Oh, dear, I'd like to help, but with my long neck, I'm just no good at climbing trees. Oh, if only there were some other way. They can get on its head, and um, the giraffe can pull down its big neck down. I don't get it. How are we going to get onto Spot's head? I think I'm about to show you, Bruce. About to? Mm -hmm. When? Oh, right about <coughs> now. Whoa. Whoa. Nice work, Spot. Hang on, Babu. I'll take you down. Okay. And I'll be right back for you guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm not wearing my giraffe riding helmet. <laughs> Hang on, Bruce. Going down. Okay, but take it slow. Thanks, guys. Yeah, great work. I really appreciate it. 
Super job. Hey, how about lunch next Thursday, guys? Yeah, his treat. <laughs> nice work, Spot. Thanks to your long neck, you got everybody down. Um, not everybody. Rhonda? Rhonda, where are you? <gasps> and then they were all fall down in on each other, and then they had a nice day. We are so glad that you have such a nice, long neck, Spot. Oh, me too. And it's okay if I'm no good at hiding. I can still be it. Hey, where is everybody? Hiding! <laughs> the end. The end. I just love swinging around with our friends from the mighty jungle. Going on adventures with Babu, Bruce, and Rhonda is always super silly and super fun. <laughs> and coming up, let's play dress up with Chloe's closet right here on the Sprout Sharing Show. <laughs> oh, I gotta get back on stage. Patty, Ricky, and Curtis the Owl will be back with more to share here on Sprout. Lily, how will I ever plan my wedding in time? Don't worry. Hotelplanner.com can save you time and money on your wedding. We're your hotel event specialist. <laughs> There's got to be a way for our team to travel without us sleeping on the floor. Never fear. Hotelplanner.com coordinates events of any size. We're your hotel event specialist. Great rates for special dates, hotelplanner.com. I've always wanted to be an artist. I always did through my whole childhood. Art Instruction Schools has been successfully training artists since 1914. All the skills I learned in the school were very helpful. They made me draw and paint things I might have not done, but that was good for me. Their fully accredited distance learning courses offer instruction in all fields of art. Of the people that hired me said that my portfolio was better than most of the college graduates. I love to draw, you know, it's really inspiring to me. I was always able to draw pretty well, but uh, it was missing, you know, a good structural foundation. And that's what Art Instruction Schools found for me. You'll learn at your own pace, in the comfort and privacy of your home. So if you'd like to become a better artist, follow your passion with Art Instruction Schools. Take the first step. Call this number for your art test. There's no obligation. You must be 18 years or older to call. Sprout! Hi, Sproutlets. It's me, Nina. Let's see all the friends we can visit and all the sweet dreams we can share every night here on The Good Night Show. What's that sound? Can you hear it? It's the clock. Tick a tick a tock. I wonder what's inside the clock that makes it go. Tick a tick a tock. Maybe it's a little man, little hammer in his hand, tapping on a little rock in the clock. Tick a tock, tick a tock, a ticking through the night. I'm Tub, and I love to go on swimming adventures and splish splash with all your rubber doubles friends every day here on Sprout. So I'm in. Karima found a little stripy seed. She planted it carefully in a pot and waited for it to grow. Soon it will make a flower, she thought. All summer they played, until one day when Karima ran outside, the leaves had fallen from the stalk and she couldn't climb up. One day, little stripy raindrops fell all around her. So, she collected all of the seeds and planted them carefully into pots. And before too long, Karima was playing with lots of flowery friends again. Oh, I can't wait for another nighttime adventure with all our friends and all of you on The Good Night Show. Every night, starting at 6 o'clock, right here on Sprout, and always at SproutOnline.com. And now, back to the Sprout Sharing Show with Patty, Ricky, and Courtesy Owl. 
This is the sharing show. You sing and dance so fine. I just can't wait to see you shine. Aloha, Maddie from Bella Kinrid, Pennsylvania. Oh, look at those fancy dance moves. Wave your hands in the air and now move your hips. <laughs> oh, I wonder where she learned that. Shh! 
Mac. <laughs> That's right, Mac. I am broken. My eye came off a long time ago, and no one has been able to find a new one to match my old one. Ooh, pretty eye. Thank you. It's nice to meet you, Mendy. I'm Dr. Chloe. This is Nurse Lil and Nurse Lovely Carrot. I'm Nurse Mac. Phew, I'm glad you're all here. You have a patient waiting already. She's in room one. Come on, nurses. Let's go and see if we can help. I wish Mama. I did have ears, so Mama. I could cover them. Mama. 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 I see the problem. Mama. 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 Whoa! <laughs> there. All better. Mama. You fixed her! Dolly get lollipop! Good idea, Mac. Should we give her a small one? A medium one or a big one? Small dolly, small lollipop. Who's our next patient, Mendy? Let's see. You have a patient waiting in room two. Is it very hard to read with only one eye? It was at first, but I'm used to it now. I hardly even think about it. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Your next patient. Let's go, team. Partner, on to the aid. <laughs> right, horsey! Whee! Are you sick, Mr. Rocking Horse? I haven't got any spots, Dr. Chloe. Then you don't have the measles. <laughs> but I used to have sports, and I like having sports. My sports are beautiful. Horsey's still beautiful. Flying feathers, look at this. See? It looks like you just have a bad case of dusty titers, Mr. Rocking Horse. Can you fix it, Dr. Chloe? Of course. Nurse Lil, I need some buckets of water and some brushes. Nurse Lovely Carrot, I'm going to need your help. Wet the patient down. Scrub. Ah, that feels really good. Okay, Nurse Lovely Carrot, rinse off the patient. Horsey has spots. Hooray! I've been cured. <laughs> There's only one way to prevent Duster Titus from coming back. Give this to your little boy at home. It says he must ride you and brush you at least once a day. That will keep the dust away. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Big lollipop for Big Horsey! Dr Chloe, I'm glad you're here. What's wrong, Mendy? There's a bit of an emergency in room one. You need to see that patient right away. Thank you, Mendy. Let's go, team. Hello, young duck. Are you okay? Pickles, I don't understand him. Excuse me, Dr. Chloe. I speak duck. Of course. Ask him what's wrong, Nurse Lovely Carrot. <laughs> one of his wheels. He's going to need an operation. Don't worry, young duck. This won't hurt. 
Wheel. Wheel. Hammer. Hammer. Banana. Ba banana? I'm a little hungry. 